Hey guys, today Jake and I, we're gonna to put together an AC Infinity tent for you guys. Uh, we're gonna have it set up here in the store. So in the future, when you wanna come and check it out, you can actually see the full setup. These are an amazing tent, it's an amazing company. They've got everything in here ready for you to go and we're just gonna step you through it. This tent comes with a really nice booklet. Uh, usually you just get a bit of a paper of some of the cheaper brands that you buy. Uh, you just literally just a fold out piece of paper with the instructions on it. But these guys, everything always comes beautiful and wrapped. So you got this lovely full book and it's got every brand in it, all the parts, everything's labeled, easy to follow. And pretty much we're just gonna follow exactly what these guys are doing so that when you do it at home, you can set it up as well, just the same as this. So just a quick note, with these corners for your base and for your top, they actually have a plastic plug on one part. You wanna put that on the bottom or on the top because that's actually what's gonna be on your canvas and you don't really want the metal rubbing against your canvas and it's not gonna be sitting evenly on the floor. So it's the only thing, really the only thing with these tents that people tend to get wrong because it's pretty straightforward. We've just put the bases together as per the instructions. We put both the bases. So one will actually be the top, uh, just using the A's in the corners, making sure that the double holes on the corners are facing upwards. Uh, so we've got the other base back here. We've just put it to the side for now. And next, there's just the poles that are gonna join together. And they go up from here. So they've all got numbers on them as labels. So you know exactly where to put them. So we're just gonna put those on. And then on the next step, we'll click them together. In the book, they ask you to put these second poles, like this first one, onto the base and then flip it and put it on top. We personally find it a bit easier just to put these lung poles first and then flip just that frame and stick it on top. tip try not to throw any of this stuff out even the box because if you ever have to move it it makes putting the poles back in a lot easier so this is your floor insert it's actually going to go in after we've put the it goes in last once we put the canvas on so we're going to roll the canvas out put the frame into it in a second but this one you can just put to the side for the moment Because of the space we're in, they say to go base first on the bottom, we're gonna go sideways. We've got the whole canvas, we've got the door zipped open so that we can get the square base onto this square here. And then we're gonna flip it up and we'll zip it back around. This is what you call your spill tray. It literally just sits in the bottom here. And you run your Velcro around your poles and tack it back on. Basically, if you ever have pump failure or miss water, or even just for the sake of cleaning, that's what this is here for. It's removable. It saves the bottom of your tent getting worn out or having to clean it all the time. You can just clean this. So I'll just show you. Most of these tents have a few of these features. Not all tents do. But you can look them up online, they usually tell you everything they have. So we've got your peak holes, so you never have to open the tent if you're having a quick check, it's just clear film. <laughs> so you can check through there. If you come through here, this tent has two holes for your fans and your ducting on each side. The standard comes with a toggle. Tighten it up. They have uh, usually these small ones if your electrical cords or your plumbing, your runoff, like you, if you've got a run to waste systems. You've got your electrical cables up here for your lights, connected to your lights, your fans. This one at the top can either be a fan hold or it can be one for use for ducting for your, out, for your outtake or you can use a side one for your ducting for your outtake. Just depends on how your filter fits, whatever works best for you or even the space you're putting it into. 
The main door opens up all the way around, as you just saw, all the way to this wall. But you when you're out. using it, you'll never use, you'll never really use that. And yeah, we've got, it's got, the AC Infinity tent has these two side access doors, which are extremely useful for getting around your plant if you're harvesting, or if you're just trying to trim up your plant during the growth. Um, having these side access is amazing. So the last thing you want to do on your tent is obviously the bars to hang your lights on. So you, most tents will have this set up. You've got these bars here with the hooks on the end. So one of them is a shorter curl or shorter hook. The other one's longer. So the shorter ones go on top and the longer ones go underneath. So they sit like that, which gives you extra strength. If you want to hang from the top ones, you've got twice as much strength for your light. Uh, and that's all there is to it, really. Um, they go in pretty simply. And you just throw them in at the end once you've done everything else. So these should be able to support a fair amount of weight. <laughs> pretty strong bars. <laughs> so now we're going to set up the tent. Uh, we've got everything AEC Infinity today, obviously. So we've got two six inch fans. This is a 1.2 tent. So the, one point, the six inch fans are a 150 mil fan uh, in Australian metric. So they're a perfect size. This is where you want to start using a size this like this. Um, we got the six inch filter, carbon filter as well. Uh, AC Infinity just brought these out. We've got the AC Infinity ducting with duct clamps. These guys here, they just come all neat, ready to go. Uh, and we've even got the got the circulating fan. So this one's going to be important for keeping air moving around the room. These ones will push air in, take the old air and the humidity out. This one just moves the air in between around. So if your plant, if your plant's not moving, it's going to tend to stretch and grow too tall for you, and it's not a good thing, especially in a tent. You don't want it getting too lanky also stops the plant being strong. So they've given us uh, your pre-filter sock. On most filters, they're white, and they come already on here, some of them. Um, with AC Infinity, they've got these nice little thin ones with the rubber bands on them. They've even given you an extra. These aren't washable, but it just makes it a bit easier. If you take one off, you can put another one on. Just goes on the outside to get your heavy particles. Oh, look at that. Oh, damn. Snug. Keep the uh, hanging port free. We've got the AC Infinity ducting, it just comes as a 2.5 meter length in the box. You get your two ducting clamps, they go on either end to your uh, filter and to your fan. So it's just your standard PVC covered. Uh, this is a lot more durable than your silver. Also, doesn't silver can tend to let the light through sometimes, but also it suits the AC Infinity theme, so it looks cool when it goes in. So these are the AC Infinity 6 inch fans, uh, or 150mm fans. So it comes in two options, the T6 and the S6. The T6 has your AC Infinity Bluetooth controller. You can manually set this, um, but with the app it's much simpler and we'll show you that at some point. The other option is just a standard fan with a manual speed controller. Ten speed. They both, they're 10 speed fans. Uh, all their stuff tends to be 10 speed. Um, but for this setup in the tent, they'll be going through the controller. So you won't actually use this hand controller, but there's there's no need to buy two of these because you don't need two control panels. But that that controller will also do your, it's your hygrometer and your timer. So we're gonna open these up so you can see them. Again, you've got some ducting clamps, some cable ties. These guys really give you everything. Uh, some straps for it as well, hang from the ceiling. And that's the fan itself. Very flash. We're gonna hang this in the tent from the straps, but you can actually, it's got holes on the base plate to mount to a wall if you wanna physically mount it. All you gotta do is undo these screws here and this fan will pop out of the middle. Then you can screw it to the wall and put this fan back in and clamp it back on again. So the last piece of the puzzle is, uh, besides the plant and everything, is just a circulating fan like I was talking about. Really easy to use, clips to your pole, has a manual 10 speed and rotate on the back. Uh, but other than that, you can hook them up to your controller as well. 
but that's just going to sit in the corner. We're going to put that in last. We're just going to fit the. This is one way of doing your filter. Um, if you're using a carbon filter, you've got the hanging points all connected to the base. It's all in line. You, the fan has got a directional arrow on top, so we want it to pull through the carbon filter because we're putting it in the tent. You can do it the other way around if you're putting the filter on the outside of the tent, but this is the most common way of doing it. Um, if you do it the other way, you can save a bit of space, but we want everything to be in the tent. So we're just gonna connect it, just shove it in like that, and that'll do for now. So we're just gonna hang this. Usually you just, you can do it otherwise, but usually you just hang it with these straps you get. They're just your normal buckle style straps. You got them in with the carbon filter and you get them with your fans as well. So just for safety, I'm gonna put two for where the filter is. I'm gonna put two for where the fan is, just for that extra strength. connected to the filter, saving a bit of length here, but we're still going to run the ducting up and out through the top. Extraction taken care of. So what we're doing here is just running our, our intake fan. So a lot of people and a lot of kits you'll see online only have one fan included. Where we we don't we're not fans of that. You really should have one fan in, one fan out, and it really should be the same fan, especially in a tent, because you're going to have a pressure difference if it's not the same fan. So this one's our intake. It's going to provide fresh air and CO2 constantly to the plant. So for our mini setup here, we've just got it sitting here on the floor because we can't put it outside. But ideally, I would set this up outside the tent and blow the air in through the ducting so there's nothing on the floor. Um, it's just for this one that we're setting it here so you can see it. Um, and then we'll have our circulating fan up here pushing this air around the room while the outtake takes the hot air from the top that's come off the plant away. It'll take the humidity away. But you should really have your intake fan if you don't have one, please buy one. I think you'll see a massive difference in your growth immediately. The AC Infinity tent comes with a metal plate. Their controller has a magnetic fitting on it, which is quite strong. So it just clips right on there. Yeah. So I've, we've already run the cables through just to show you. It slips through here so you don't get any light leakage. There's a flap on the inside that it comes out. And if you want to come in here, at the moment we've just kind of got it tied up. Um, just, just loosely with the, the ties they give you for your cables. And we've got you know, we've got the lines running from both fans. And at the moment, we've just got the probe, which is gonna sit in the canopy height. But we've just got this just hanging here for now because we've still gotta put the light in. Um, this will be your hygrometer. This will test your humidity and your temperature and it's what your fan controls everything off of. So we've just set all that up. So we're gonna put the light in now. So. We're using a 1.2 meter tent, so the best kind of light for that is our Lumitech 4, 465 watt is what we're gonna go with. Uh, these are some of our top of the line lights we sell here. Very dependable, five year warranty, and all these bars are separate, so if one of them breaks, we just swap the bar out, it doesn't stop the light at all. But it's just the perfect size to fit in this tent, so that's what we're going with today. These ratchet hangers are really good for this. It makes life a lot easier. You can have your light on the floor or whatever whatever else you're using. 
technically these are kind of upside down, but let's pull it through. Whoop, supported. Get it up past the uh, oscillating fan. first um, before we put the bars on it so that it was a little bit safer for the bars there is a trick to doing this too oh yeah cool you wrap them up if you wrap your cord up this works with most cords and then you can run your main line through it wrap that through that and you can just pull it makes it a neat little bundle. You can just tuck it wherever. So this is how the Lumatech bars go in. They just slot into one side and then they click up into the other side where the power comes from. We've left the covers on them while doing this. That way we can just take them off afterwards and we don't ever have to touch the LEDs. So we're all set up now. We've got everything going, we've got the controller going, we've got the light in there. Uh, we're using the Telesight controller. It's all AC Infinity. It's such a beautiful tent. It was so easy to build. Uh, it took about half an hour to an hour, depending on how familiar you are with tents. Let's take a look inside, shall we?